Hi, and welcome to our Supermicro Tech Talk. Today I have with us Chuck Henderson, one of our product managers for our Supermicro Hyper E servers. How are you doing today, Chuck? I'm good, Heather. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm very excited today to introduce one of our most powerful edge compute servers. Um, Supermicro's Hyper E represents flagship performance for the most demanding 5G telco edge environments in a dense, short depth to you form factor. That's great. What do you have to show me with this system right here? Sure. Uh, well, we'll start with the front side. Our innovative short depth design of 574 millimeters de deep supports two CPUs in a 2U form factor. The next thing you'll notice is that the Hyper-E is a front I.O. server versus a more traditional rear I.O. server. Both of these features benefit our Edge and Telco customers as their servers are often placed in smaller racks that require easier and quicker access. The, and the Hyper-E also has a toolless design providing for easier serviceability and component replacement in the field. So those are all great features. So what about CPUs and internals for each node? Okay, the Hyper-E supports dual Intel Ice Lake series CPUs. The, CPU, uh, the server supports up to 270 watts power utilization on the CPUs. The CPUs can provide up to 40 cores per socket, and the server also supports PCIe Gen 4 for I.O. This allows the Hyper-E to provide superior performance and scalability for a variety of IoT embedded telco and edge workloads. The server also has 32 DIMMs to support up to 8 terabytes of DDR for 32 megahertz memory. And eight PCIe Gen 4 expansion slots to provide the latest add-on cards. The server will support, in addition, up to eight terabytes of Optane memory, providing even greater flexibility for our customers. The Hyper-E will support four of the newer FPGAs and GPUs that will be coming to the market soon, including three full-height full-length and one full-height half-length card. In addition to that, we have two proprietary slim AIOM Supermicro I.O. modules to provide flexible networking, options from one gigabyte to 100 gigabyte, and a dedicated IPMI port. The slim AIOMs are OC 3.0 compatible. They don't use PCIe slots, and you can reuse those slots for uh, other purposes. So those are, that's a very impressive high performance feature set. What about the rear? Okay, good question. Let's take a look at the rear. On the rear side, there are six hot swap NVMe SATA drive bays. They support up to 96 terabytes of raw disk space. The system also has six high powered fans as well. So this is a very dense system. How do you keep this all cool? Good question. Inside the server, there are six high-powered fans that provide all the necessary cooling. Even in this dense, short-depth form factor, we are able to fit all of the components while still having ample airflow through the system, allowing for the use of high-bin CPUs up to 270 watt TDP. Excellent. So this is a very powerful system, and it's also power and cost efficient too, right? That's correct. I'll spin it around to the front to show you the power supplies. Um, we actually have two different types of power supplies uh, for the Hyper-E. For AC power, we have 2 by 2,000 watt or 2 by 1,200 watt platinum power supplies. For DC power, which is shown here, we have 2 by 1,300 watt power supplies. The redundant power really maximizes the resources savings of this unique short depth design and allows customers to be very flexible in designing the server specs to fit their specific needs. So this is an amazing system. What are some applications that this Hyper-E server would be best suited for? Well, there are several, but uh, the server suits a wide variety of applications for 5G and telco workloads. Things like factory automation, AI inferencing, edge compute, and as a GPU or FPGA server. We have customers in the telco industry, 
AI sector, manufacturing, semiconductors, and wireless communications. But the neat thing is that customers are coming up with new use cases all the time. We're excited to see the use cases that will come, with, come up in the next year or so. Chuck, so what makes the Hyper-E a true leader in the industry? Well, Heather, the Hyper-E is the 5G embedded IoT team's flagship high performance, high density edge compute system. It is its unique front IO, short depth design with high memory capacity and vast IO capability make it a true leader in the industry. When the server is combined with Intel CPUs, add-on cards and software from our large network of partners, it will bring new innovations and great performance to the edge. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for joining us today. And thank you all for joining us for a Supermicro Tech Talk. Learn more at supermicro.com forward slash x12. Powered by Intel.